Clatsop County is a beautiful place on the northwest coast of Oregon. Uh, the physical beauty of the environment sometimes covers so many of the challenges. The pandemic highlighted inequities in Clatsop County. We had uh, outbreaks in our seafood processing plants and the employees in those plants are largely Latinx. So the Hispanic community was the, the site of a big outbreak and there was a lot of blame. It was shocking to me with COVID and with the outbreaks in the canneries to hear people that I had great respect for in the business community and in elected offices say the things they said um, out of ignorance of, of the living environment and the hardworking people uh, that were contracting COVID. My aspiration for my community, Clatsop County, it's to be an inclusive community and be essentially equitable in all aspects, in education, in health, in um, housing, social services, food. Plata Community Action is a social service agency that we help the uh, people in need in our community. We are collaborating with many different organizations to have more of an equitable way of delivering our services. Uh, public health has become more cognizant of them being a player. The legal system is a player or needs to be more of a player. Um, our child welfare system needs to be a player. We would like to have our hospitals more involved. With the Latinos, it is very, um, we always have a presence. All of our items are bilingual and all of our conversations. And we not only to be bilingual, it's also to be bicultural. I have to understand what their culture is. What do they need? What it needs to be changed in Clatsop County when it comes to equity, inclusion, it's the, uh, one of the most important things, education, and also have an open mind. Not assuming that all la Latino population works at the cannery or at the service industry. Some of us have different type of jobs. So knowing that we are very versatile, we're not just one kind. We're working on the social determinants of health. So improving the preconditions of improving health, including um, better housing, um, childcare so that people can do their jobs, um, greater leadership and advocacy for policy change um, that would benefit the Hispanic community. We took the opportunity to uh, attend a, a soccer rally event with a lot of Latinx individuals there and invented kind of a system for them to prioritize what their needs were. If they could direct COVID spending in Clatsop County, what would they do? And we gave them each fake money and they could put money in jars and they prioritized child care above everything else, which is not something that was on the commissioner's list to be funded at all. Success would be having more capacity to um, pursue bigger projects in Clatsop County and also having more um, Spanish speaking leaders in positions of power and influence. One of the barriers that I think all organizations have is that we believe that we've been doing the right thing. And partly we have. Oh, we have printed materials or spoken uh, languages, and we have different people, and we believe that we are being fair. But it's so much more complicated now, in a way. Understanding different things that make people feel comfortable, and they don't have to feel marginalized. One of the biggest lessons that I've learned about the um, health equity and, and houseless and all of that. It's that when we think that somebody w wants something, w we have the tendency to assume and not ask. And sometimes it would be better for us to ask instead of assuming.